Hey boys and welcome back to another Bleach Brace, no, Bleach Mobile 3D video today. I'm going to be giving you guys a beginner's guide on how to get started on this game. And some stuff you might not know about and you need to know about because this game does work differently compared to BBS if that's the game you're coming from. Which you should be, I don't know why this would be your first Bleach Gacha game, but hey, let's start. So, firstly, let's get this out of the way. This game works on a server-based system, so if you're not in EUS6, you will not see me. Just say that right now. You, if you want to be with your friends, make sure you're in the same server. The servers are in numbers, and I believe ones that so one to five that you know I'm number six. So one to five would have stuff released before me. They gl gradually release servers on different days, and the later the number, the later the banner you get stuff. So not everyone's going to get the same update on the same day. So this Okiro okay, banner just dropped for me in EU one, which came up really like a couple days beforehand. It's already gone. So just keep that in mind. Maybe if you're starting an account, maybe join a newer server. But again, if you want to play with someone that you know, and that's in a different server, maybe just start there. The game is a PvP game, so it, you are going against people that have already a few day advantage against you. But that doesn't really matter to me, personally. If my friend's playing EU S6, I'm going to play EU S6. I don't care if it started a week ago. But let's go into some of the stuff. So we're going to go from button to button to just guide you guys through the, the main game. Now, firstly, Adam Yellow's not in this game, unfortunately. He is a boss. I haven't seen it. I need to check uh, KU Master's video. I think he uploaded it. Um, he's not in the game as a playable character, but hopefully one that he does, because you know you're always pulling for him anyway. So, here is the player info. This is your character screen. You can check all your, you know, the basic attributes. So, HP, attack, armor, defense, and pierce. Uh, dodge, hit, crit, you know, it's all these stuff. A lot of stuff to go through. It doesn't really matter. You don't really need to know. There is a VIP system in this game. Just do keep that in mind. So if you do want to spend some money, you do get some benefits. Now, I don't really recommend it. But hey, if you want to somewhat support this game, then sure, go ahead. You do get extra bonuses. So if you, if you do get to VIP 5, you do get yourself a SSR Byakuya, who's actually pretty good. So not a bad idea. And again, there's also this deal here. Uh, first top up if you spend £2 in the game or if you just spend money in the game, excluding these two red deals. So just the £2, the $2 deal, €2 Euro deal, you'll get yourself a free SSR Yoroichi. That's probably the best deal in the game uh, that I can actually recommend. So there's that. Let's continue going over this. So your moniker is basically just like a title under your name. So right, mine is Tempsey. I'm a Tempsey player. Uh, it goes up the more times you do it. So basically, it goes up by your power level and how far you've gotten in Endless Trial. Endless Trial, it's basically in the name. It's to, You just keep going as far as you can in this one game mode. Once you die, I'll go over it later. I'll go over it later. But it's basically just an Endless Game mode. Uh, that is your team at the bottom. You can advance once you do have the requirements. This is your titles, which give you extra stats. So one of them here. So reach 15 million power level. Whew. Okay. Okay. There is one uh, for spending money. I know that. <laughs> Let me see if I can find it. Yeah. V reach VIP VIII. I have no idea what number that is, but I think that's the, the thir 13 maybe? XV. Woo. Okay. But there you go. If you're spending money in the game, you get these cool little titles uh, and then the last one is exploit which is a weird name but you basically just get crystal they're basically your, your event page you're, you're just challenges you get stuff for doing stuff so that's cool uh actually wait we can't say cool copper is not allowed us to say that i'm trying to stay uh this video is not for kids here's a picture of swimsuit all right so here is the main screen obviously you've already seen it before the left side is your quest screen so you have main quest association quest sub quest and yeah that's it so if we click on trait conversion let's see what this is so tap plus i can't do that but i'm assuming you can converse traits that's pretty cool anyway we'll go to that later uh, let's continue so this button right here again your first top up if you spend money you get this bonus you get that extra you know this is a support screen where you can just support uh send stuff to the support team i guess you know if you've got any feedback probably not going to listen but you know we'll continue on the event page is this game's you know event page right this is where you do your, your quests you get 10 tickets a day you can stack them up and you don't have to spend them so once this event's gone you have 70 tickets and you can wait for another quest to return that uses these tickets there's like free ones depending on the area it's set i believe so you don't have to spend it but if you do you get some cool rewards you can't finish it unless you um have a bonus character so you won't get to the end but if you're free to play and you don't have the bonus character, you could go decently far. You can get some summon tickets. You can get some fragments for Shuntui. Most of the characters in this game you can get for free, excluding limited time characters. And I'll go over that in a bit. So, uh, yeah, you can go decently far. And if you do have a bonus, as you can see here, if you have the new Okura, you would get 
bonus rewards and depending on how uh his advancement level so if you have him level 16 which none of you really will have him at that level you'll have 70 percent extra bonuses so for the most part you'll have him at like six probably eight no probably six so you get a 10 percent bonus it's not the greatest and then if you also have him evolved his evolution level you'll get extra bonuses too and again we'll go over that in a bit so here's the ranking page um sp you can just like so some people are already out at 800k i've been playing on the sea version for like a few months and i have 1.3 million that's crazy honestly okay so you're gonna see a lot uh the main teams are gonna be like some somewhat similar characters because you can get these from paying so toshiro biaka you can get from spending money Genrasite you can only get from spending money you have to be like vip 13 this team you can again spend money to get this team and you know the yoda is like two pounds so it's not bad and uh, yeah you can just see similar teams across the board. Uh, so that's the ranking. You can just see stuff. Uh, recruit. I'll go over this now. So this is the this is the default banner. I don't recommend pulling on this. I did 30 pulls just for the guaranteed SSR. Because again, it doesn't... You know, I just wanted the SSR to carry me. I do recommend that for you guys too. I re recommend you spend maybe 30 tickets on this banner. Or if this banner, if you really want to. doesn't really matter. Because guess what? You can't pull this Okiura. I'll tell you in a minute. So if you click here. The little question mark. You can see the rates for the game. And this banner, they all have different rates. This one right here has a 3.53% chance to get a SSR character. This banner has a 1.5 or 1.9% chance to get an SSR character. However, it doesn't tell you in this one, but it does say here, you cannot get the limited time character. So in this case, Okiura from pulling. So like right here, uh, number one, limited time recruitment only produce limited character fragments, no whole cards. And only a 10% chance of getting the li limited character fragment. So what it's basically saying, if, no matter how many pulls you do, you will never pull Okira. Uh, like, so you can pull all these characters here besides Okira. However, you can get his fragments. So the way to get this character is you have to spend a minimum of 160 pulls. It seems like a lot, but if you've seen my past summon videos, free-to-play players like myself will just stack it up over time. As long as you save and you don't just bend all your, your crystals on stupid stuff or your tickets on stupid stuff. Make sure when you're pulling on a banner, you have 160 pulls. Now you might be asking why. So at the bottom here, uh, we get a free single every day. So you'll be able to do free singles. At the bottom here, every time you do one summon, you get one point. So 160 points is 160 summons. When you do 160, as you can see here, you'll end up getting 40 fragments of Okura. So, assuming you get 10 fragments in those 160 pulls, which you should because it's a 10% chance to get the fragment, boom, you'll end up with an Okura. That's how you do it. That's how you pull in this game. If you're a whale... You'll end up going for the 300 right here where you can get this golden chest, which is basically upgrade his third strong attack just to do a bit more damage and stuff like that. And then his evolution card, which again evolves him and then increases his stats and stuff like that. Uh, this evolution thing, I'm not 100% certain on what it really is because it's still new to the game. Um, I played the Southeast Asian version and it's not really there. Uh, I'll go over it now real quick. So evolve. If you pull this and you have some universal fragments, you can evolve them and you just get extra stats. And maybe a... Uh, that's pretty much it. So again... Let me repeat myself. Do not pull on banners unless you have a minimum of 160 tickets. Limited time characters, you'll see on screen right now, they appear from time to time. It's like every 11 days or so, we get a new limited time banner. So right now, it's Okura. Next limited time banner will be Dangai Ichigo. The, no, next limited time character will be Aizen, I believe. Then Dangai Ichigo, and then Neliel. So keep in mind of who you want to go for and save for those characters. And the most important part is when you do decide to get on a character... Make sure you plan ahead and go for bonds of those characters. So, let's go over that real quick. Bonds are really, really important in this game. So, I, for example, want to go for this Aizen. Now, if I go into bonds, basically your character links, which do more stuff. I want to go for characters that will make him better. So, I want Dangai Ichigo. I want this SR Ichigo. I want the Nell. Not so much the Nell because she's character armor. It's not really the best, but I want this other Nell. I want this Aizen. I want this Grimjaw. I want this Toshiro. This uh, Okura. Kukaku. Kisuke, Gin, Halibo, Stark, you know, all these stuff, these characters, mainly the ones that boost attack, you want on your account. And you want them to be, you don't want to use them, but you want them to be bonds for your character. So that's really important when you're going ahead, because I'll show you why the importance of bonds, right? So we've got the bond here. As you can see on this, you know, just it's a white version of Rengiku. I haven't really invested into her. I have a white, that's what they call it, the rarity, white. SR Yachiru linked to her, right? So she's giving me a 20% increase in basic attributes. Nothing else, because she's not a Bond character. If you click on view, you can see who the characters that give extra stuff. 
if I go to if I go to my Yuri, you can see that I have extra bonuses and they give more stuff. So as you can see here, I have Uryu as a bond. If you click on the view, you can see all the characters that can link to him. I have two out of the four. That's pretty good, pretty nice. So Uryu gives him 44% extra basic stats and 22% extra HP. And then Kisuke gives me 21% extra attack and 52% extra basic stats. Now you can click on this. And as you can see, you can level them up. And I'll tell you how in a minute. Um... As you can see here, current level, I need to be level 60, and my character needs to reach rank 8 to unlock the third one. Limited time characters have four slots. So they have a higher power scaling in terms of they have more bonds to uh, get more power, right? So in the future, you're not going to be using much of these characters. I'll tell you right now, these characters right here, every SSR in this pool, you will not be using much. You're mainly going to be using them as links in the future. Most of the team in the future, you're going to be using limited time characters because they have better stats they're just better characters and they offer more bond slots if you max them out so they just you can just get a higher power level with those characters so to unlock your bond slot you want to go to quality you want to go to advance you want to use these advancement stones and the owner fragments so you can get these fragments by either pulling dupes asking them from friends or your association members or you can save up universal fragments over time you'll stack up a lot of universal fragments so you don't have to worry about that and let's talk about Resurrect. So Resurrect is also an important feature in the game. So right now, I'm I'm invested in Mayuri, right? In the future, I'm not going to use him. And I don't even need him as a link because it's Mayuri. He's not really linked to anyone. So I just wasted all these accessories, all these, you know, resources into this character. I can't focus on my new character. So what do I do? Well, you take him off your team. So we'll use Hanataro as this case. We've leveled him up to level 1 or level 6, right? Let's just take him to level 16. And we want all those resources back. So what you do... You click resurrect, and as you can see now, for 20 crystals, I'll get everything I invested into this character back. Now, obviously, I only put spirit orbs into him, which is EXP in this game, so I'm only going to get that back. But for someone like Mayuri, I'd get a lot more stuff back. Obviously, I can't do it now because he's in my team. So that's pretty, that, that's pretty much it for resurrect. And again, focus on your bonds. Focus, look at plan ahead. Look at the characters that you want. Look at their bonds. I'll have a link in the description for characters and bonds and stuff. Make sure you plan ahead because those are the stuff that you want to go for and that will make you a lot more better as a player because it will, you know, give you more power level. And again, every character is important. You have to max every character that even links your character, right? So I have, um, I've been investing in these three, right? Because everything's important. This right here, uh, your skill, the the stuff you put into them, their realm, which is like their, their power level. Well, not power level, you increase their stats for their weapon, their traits. You can lock a trait every time you upgrade them. Everything gives you, you know, increases your SP. You want to do everything. Level them up. Make sure they're level... So it's level up to level 41. So boom, leveled up. Make sure you take them to the highest rarity. So this one right here, the quality goes from white to green to blue to purple to orange to red to gold. No one, obviously, in the game has orange characters yet because it's based on level, right? No one's high enough yet. But in the future, you're going to see a lot of gold-ranked uh, characters. And then same for this. You want to get characters to high rank because they give you more stuff. So um, he is a link to Mayuri. He's a tw you know a twenty one percent attack link. If I invest in this, or if I pull more Kisuke dupes, uh, when I level this rank up, it will also increase the amount of attack he's given to my character. So again, focus on your main character and all your bonds and no one else. That's like the main thing about this game. It's a uh, very grind heavy. You have to you always find a new ways and I saw they're going to add more stuff in the future that is in this game right now. There's always going to be more ways to power up your characters. And it's it's quite grindy. I don't blame you if you don't really like this game. So I hope that made sense. I think it did. <laughs> um, over time again I'll be streaming you can ask me questions. So let's let's continue. So recruit um, every day you get a free single. Here you get five free singles on this banner right here. This one isn't really good. You use silver tickets. It doesn't even give you a chance to get an SSR. You have like a 0.4% chance to even get an SR character. So you just do that five times a day. Let's just do 10. Um, every time you pull, if you see your power level increase or your SP level, that means you got a new character. And we did just get a Mayuri fragment. So you can get fragments for SSRs, but you can't pull whole SSR characters. Cool. Uh, moving on. Every X amount of pulls, you get yourself a SSR character. For your first, on your 30th pull, you get an SSR. On your 70th pull, you get an SSR. And I think it starts increasing to like 100s. So like every 140, every 240, stuff like that, you get SSR characters. Again, save your tickets for banner or limited time characters. Moving on, we have the Mart. This is where you can buy stuff. So you can buy your, your golden tickets with the crystals. You, I do recommend you do that eventually. You know, Over time, you're going to have a bunch of crystals. You're going to have a bunch of tickets. If you need the extra tickets, buy them with crystals. That's something you can do. This right here, you can buy stuff. I'm going to refresh it because I don't really have 
uh, these coins. You can use these to power up some of your accessories, but you can also use it to buy stuff. So uh, I don't recommend buying these. Like it's 500 crystals for that, which is basically their third strong attack. If you go back to the banner here, uh, if you do the 300 one again, this is for the SA3. It's not really that important unless you're like proper like invested in that character. I wouldn't do it personally. So first chop up, we went over that. That's where you get thing roulette. Is you use these fortune coins or whatever they call them. You get these from doing this right here. Squad 13, you do this every day. See how far you can go once your association or your friends, once most people in the server have better characters. You're going to easily be able to beat this every day. And that will get you your fortune coins, which you can use to do this roulette, which is all right. It's, you know, gives you purple stuff. Um, gives you things to make your characters better, but it's not that important right now until they add better stuff in the roulette uh the carnival this is here for beginners it's gonna be here for a week make sure you do everything that you can do uh don't buy these i don't recommend buying these what else is there yeah this is i don't recommend buying i don't think it's worth it but yeah make sure you can do the most you can because you can get yourself a freaking patchy once you get 120 points you can get yourself the 50 fragments for the character boom you got yourself a new ssr and he's actually quite good so not a bad thing to do Again, this is also another beginner's thing. So make sure... This is basically telling you how to get golden tickets. So try to, you know, read it, click on go, and it'll take you know take you to where you can get stuff. And there's also this right here on sale every day. So you get 104 discount, I believe. So 400 for free tickets. I've been doing that every day, and I recommend you do it too, because, you know, it's just you get, just get a discount on some tickets. Not bad. Not a bad thing. Moving on, we have events. This right here is basically the money part of the game. If you spend money, you get extra stuff. So I've used 300 crystals today. I'll get myself an extra stuff like that. It's uh, not that important. VIP back, you can see here. Oh, you can actually see the full thing. So you have to go to VIP IX. What's that, bro? Damn. Okay. You can get a lot of stuff from this. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You have to go to VIP 9 to get Toshiro. Which, I guess if you want to do that, that might be like £50 pounds around there. Maybe more. I don't know. But again, if you spend money, you do get some benefits because it's somewhat paid to win. Click on a welfare. This is where you're going to get your daily stuff. You can do this every day. Five times a day. So as you can see, I got one more attempt. Oh, I almost got the five tickets there. On your 20th roll, you'll get the five times tickets. That's how you're going to want to get tickets. It's not... Uh, I do recommend you do it five times a day. You can only do it five times a day. Every four days, you get yourself five tickets. It, it is worth it. I'll tell you that right now. A double reward, it basically tells you here, um, certain quests and stuff will have double rewards, so when you do it, you get double the drops, so that's good. Make sure you plan in advance, and make sure you have some tickets and stuff. You want to farm stuff when it is double rewards. Uh, claim stamina, if you log in at a certain time, you get stamina. You get all this stuff for get, reaching a certain level. Pretty nice. Eight-day login, this is for beginners. So you get two tickets there, ten tickets there, two, 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 three, three, and ten. Friend target, you want to make friends, because then you can get all these stuff. And then you want to increase your intimacy with your friends which i think is just give gift them stamina so that's always an option and then uh this retrieve rewards you just log in every day and you can just claim them nothing special there and when we went over squad 13 and that's pretty much it so make sure you do your dailies because you get extra stuff you get you can get 50 skip tickets a day and then when the main quest which has double rewards if when it does make sure you have a bunch of skip tickets and just go ham because that's when you can get all the rewards and that's when you can start maxing out your characters a lot faster once you finish your dailies You'll get a martial medium chest, which can give you a purple quality uh, item, which is pretty good. But again, it's uh, it's pretty rare as well. And you get yourself a golden ticket. So you can get one golden ticket from here. You can go to your association and go to the shop and you can get a golden ticket there. So that's two. And there's also this quest right here. When you are part of association, you have to go to Rukia. You have this Soul Reaper agent quest. You can do them 10 times a day. And when you do it, you get a treasure map. So you can see right now, it says this treasure map on, right? When you use it, it will take you to a place. You mine the treasure map, whatever's there, and it can give you a reward. And it can give you a golden ticket. If you were part of my stream, we got two golden tickets from it. So you can guarantee to get like two to three golden tickets a day. And if you're lucky with the treasure map, you can end up getting more so, more than that. So that's always an option. Go to your email. Make sure you always claim stuff. Uh... Because as you can see here, we got two fragments from our guild. I'm assuming one of my association members has gifted me that. I got 70 crystals and I got these little uh, Quincy thing, whatever they call it. So we'll go over that now. All right, let's go on gameplay. So gameplay is where all the other events are. So say you take contests, that is PvP. 
there's no end date. There's just, you just keep playing. You can do 10 quests a day. This is the rewards for going far into the game. You can get yourself a sergeant over time you'll get him. Um, I already have like 20 pieces, I believe. So we did lose that one game there. I did quit, actually. I remember that. And you can also go to the exchange shop to buy yourself some stuff. So I have 8,000 points. Eventually, you're going to have a crap ton of these points. So what I do is I buy these. These are for increasing your advancement. So your rank, right? You use advancement stones. I do recommend you buy all of these every day because they are worth it. And over time, you're going to have a lot and you're going to need a lot of them too. Uh, since we're in this store, we can go here. You can refresh them by using uh, these soul stones, which you get from pulling. Once you do like a... Once you have 160 summons, tickets, summon tickets, you can use all of them on a banner and you'll get a bunch of them back of these soul stones. And you can use these to buy fragments. So you can either, one, invest in a character. So focus on uh, Toshiro. Let's say I want to I want to get Toshiro. Right? So let me keep refreshing until I see one. I mean, he's kind of rare, so you're not going to see much. You've got to get five for Grimjow, but you have to spend 500 crystals. I wouldn't recommend that, but you can if you're really desperate for him. Or you can buy... Universal Fragments. I probably buy the Universal Fragments because you can use ones on any character. Endless Store is you get the currency you get from Endless Mode, which again, is in, it's in its name. It's an Endless Mode. Uh, this is for PvP. This is also for PvP, but this is real-time PvP. There's two different PvP game modes. This is again the Association Store, and this is the Fortune Store for spending your... Uh, for doing the roulette. Every time you do one point, you get 20 points. So let's continue on with the other events. Endless Trial, like I said, it's an Endless Game Mode. Um, I can't see more than 40, but you just keep going far. And depending on how far you can go, you can increase your moniker, like right here. So if I get to 40 and I get 200k power level, I go to a 9th seat member. Pretty cool. Uh, let's move on. Once you do, by the way, once you hit a cap, you want to reset. So let's do that and then sweep. And it'll take me back to 31. And boom, you get all the rewards again. And that's how you're going to buy, eventually, buy Golden Gear in the future. And then we have Tough Foe. Tough Foe is like a little association thing some of my maybe my friends and associate members might find them i can join in and if i do damage i get all these rewards so if i hit 300 300 million damage across uh not in one quest but over the, the day you'll get these stuff so i do recommend at least going to 30 million a day because then you do get this stuff which you, a chance can give you a weapon skill at gold rarity next up we have memories memories is a way to get free-to-play characters. That's why I wasn't really happy about getting Mayuri because you can get him for free. So we're going to go against this one. Let's just start it because we can get... So you pick a character. And I think you have to pick a different character every time. I believe you can't just use Mayuri for everything. So we're going to quickly be it. This gives us uh, some extra stuff. So let's just quickly be it. As you can see, we might as well just show the gameplay, right? So this is your Nad String. Okay, once you go Bankai... Or your awakened skill, you're pretty much immune to staggering, which is good. Unless the boss also goes into their awakened form. Um, the more damage you do, the more hits you do, you uh, recover your... Or you unlock your Bankai, right? So we're slowly unlocking it. Some characters have ridiculously fast uh, speeds for unlocking their awakened skill. I think Aizen's one of them too. So let's quickly kill these guys. Uh, wave 3. So you can see at the top is wave 3 out of 3. There is the boss. Let's use our Bankai. Or whatever they call it. So we unlock our Hueco Mundo outfit, which is pretty cool. And our strong attacks. Let's zoom out a bit. Our oh, he's already dead. Okay. And then our strong attacks are actually Shoki Zito. If I even said that right. Also, do note I have two flash steps. Most characters have two flash steps, but later time characters also have three flash steps. So they have an advantage. Because when you're playing real time PvP, it's important to, like, you know, dodge away from the enemy. Because if you get hit, you can get stuck in a combo loop. So do keep that in mind. So we beat the first quest. Now let's claim the reward. Which character fragment is it? So this is how you get Gin. And then we try and start the second quest. We cannot bring Mayuri because he's already been taken. So you want to do it like five times a day. Have five characters. So every day, depending on which one there is, you can get five fragments of that character. Pretty nice. Uh, good way to get your I don't know what character it is. Again, I will leave a site in the description below and the pinned comment where you can see what characters you can get from where. So that's nice. Let's continue on. We have the quiz, which I already attempted today. It's just like small quiz, like five questions, you do it, you get some XP. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, dungeons, this is where you can play with your guildmates or just random people. So mod plan is where you get massive amount of XP. Treasure cavern is where you get EXP and silver. Dojo is where you can get Magatama EXP and silver. And Evading Serite is where you can get partners and partner EXP. So let's go over that right now. Magatama is 
a somewhat of a soul tree to some extent if you play bbs right uh, to some extent you can just level up these so i need to have you can either get more of these or you can spend crystals but just over time again you'll you'll level these up so it don't really matter partner i have ambassador seaweed he's an n rank so these are his stats in the future you can get free characters but i need to get to level 55 and you can also get Zanpakuto's characters, so that's pretty cool. You can get certain Ishiriki and stuff. They give you, they have their own stuff. So right now, restores or heals me by 0.132 every two seconds for four seconds, I guess. It's not really good, but other characters can you know, give you a lot of HP back, so it's pretty good. Uh, if you have a good ranked, you're going to get SSR Zanpakuto's basically. Those are the ones you want. They give you some good stuff. They give you good stats. There's also another way to increase your power level. Again, the whole point of this game is just to increase your power level to the highest that you can get it to. So this is just another way of doing it. Accessory is you can have, you know, different accessories. Sometimes we get events which can give you different accessories. So right now we have Sakura and we have, uh, let's equip one. Let's equip this one here. So this is Maple. Just cool effects. Some of them are actually really, really cool. Let me see if I can actually see them. Um, I don't think I can. I don't think they show it. Yeah, so before you could see the other ones, they just give you extra stats and they just make you look cooler. Uh, you can level them up and again, increases your power level. And then you can also start up your characters if you have these. I have no idea how to get these, so I apologize. Even on the other version, I have no idea where to get these. So if someone else knows, uh, leave it in the comments below. Um, did we get some? We got some here. Okay, my voice just went there. Oh, okay. So we got 50 crystals there. Nice, nice, nice. Carnival. Cool. We're just getting more stuff. So there you go. Uh, just just play the game, really, and you'll start doing these. And oh, okay, there we go. Okay, we're getting hella stuff. All right. Okay. Oh, I think the fourth day just died. Uh, yeah, it just turned eleven. So I think the fourth day just died for me. So that's nice. Uh, not buying that. Let's go to this one. And go to here. There we go. Good timing. Boom. Got myself thing. So now I have uh, thirty-one crystals. I mean, uh, thirty-one summer tickets. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's continue on. I think that's most of it. Yeah, time limited events. Again, these are here for a certain amount of time. So 11 to 12, 10 30 to 11, and 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. This one, bro, cross server is PvP against other players in different servers. Inner court is real time PvP against people in my server. And Menos Grande Hunt is basically you verse a. It says Menos Grande Hunt, but you don't verse a Menos Grande. You can verse different enemies. And whoever does the most damage gets a more points and whoever gets the most points in that game you get you know extra stuff extra rewards so it's a uh, pretty cool these are your association quests so soul agent reaper soul reaper agent is what i told you how you get the maps to get a chance to get tokens or coupons summer tickets school party is um con it's basically ma match them right you have to get two of the same character and you have a certain amount of roles pretty easy uh what else is there Association sign in. Make sure you do that every day because you get 10 skip tickets and 30 stamina. This is how you can donate to the guild. Make sure you have an active guild that does it because once you do, you can get some extra stuff. I always do the first two, so uh, 20,000 silver and 30 crystals because there's not really much. Uh, this is how you gift fragments to characters. So for all you people that have been playing BBS, that have been saying, oh, why don't Caleb let us trade with players? Well, in this game, you can. So these two people kindly gifted me two Kisuke fragments and you can actually abuse it i know people out there that have been using it uh, in the other servers where you're in a guild with maybe four of your own accounts and you just keep giving yourself fragments of a character so you can abuse it you can only get two a day but it is abusable it's just really long and i don't think it's even worth the time now this is really late into the video so if you are still watching appreciate it a lot of people have been asking me who to re-roll for i don't recommend re-rolling because again you can't i'd recommend to pull a limited time character but you can't pull them, right? So just go in, do your 30 pulls, get yourself a character, and just keep that character and just keep playing the game and make that character better and progress. It's not worth rerolling in this game. I'll tell you that right now because, again, most characters are good, and at the end of the day, it comes down to whoever has a high SP level. I can have a good character, you can have a bad character. If your SP level is higher than mine, you're going to slap my cheeks. And I believe we covered everything. Um, that's all for the events. If you go to challenge, this is the main part of the story. If you freestyle them, you can get extra stuff, so we can get a free Nemi from there. Uh, free ways to get your SRs. There is a lot more story than this. I just haven't gotten far. Um, as you can see here, I need 162k to even challenge this quest. Over time, you're going to be stuck. You're going to have to increase your power level, or you can't even attempt the quest. So just do know that. Like I can't. If I have a 200 power level quest, 
I'm probably going to not be able to even touch it because my power level is too low. That's the kind of annoying thing about this game. Because sometimes your power level might be low, but you can easily beat it. Because I remember sometimes in the Southeast Asian version where um, they had like 100k more power level than me. But I was like almost one shot in it. So it's a bit stupid that they cap you if you don't have a high power level. But it is a thing in this game and you should know about it. So let's just quickly go through this. Alright, so we beat it. Um... Did we? We didn't free star it because I took hella damage, but I wasn't really trying to, you know, free star it right now. But in the future, you want to, you will want to go back and free star them because then you can get extra rewards. When you do be it, you also got, you get these amulets which you can uh, increase your power level just by a tiny bit. That is something you can always click on these to see the cutscenes that you have because there are cutscenes in this game. This is where you're gonna want to farm your stuff. So right now, if we go to our character, because now I need to talk about how to increase your character's power level. There are many ways to do it. Again, one of them is being bonds. This here is where you level them up. You are capped to your account level. So my account level is 46. So my characters can only go to level 46. I believe you can go into the 200s. I believe. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah. My character is level 46 right now. I can't increase them anymore. We use Spirit Ops to level them up. Go to quality. So I need 40. I need 29 more of these blue things. And I can take them to a purple rarity. But I do need to be level 50 first. Now to get these. All you got to do is click on it. Boom. And it takes you to the place and you can just either one beat the quest or use an auto pass so if you again do your dailies you're gonna have a crap load of you so right now i have 100 and i can just skip it and boom i got three of them um for kisuke let's go on to him you right there you haven't gotten to the shield part so you need to use these uh sh shurikens and again i can just click on 4-1 boom i want to skip 10 times but i do have the chance to do 30 so boom hey we also leveled up nice 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 and we got maybe like 10 of the shurikens. And obviously we're going to need a lot more. But the whole point is just if you get caps because you, you need a higher power level, just go back and increase your character's power level. So we aren't level 50 yet. But this right here is where you get the shurikens. This right here is where you get these, uh, what are they called? Divine shields. And then in the future, which I don't have it yet, this is where you're going you're gonna to get other materials for uh, increasing your characters later on. Unfortunately, I can't show you right now. Um, this is your stamina. You can spend crystals to... Okay, great. You can spend crystals to recover it. But you can also use in-game stamina items like... Uh, see, right here, I have Onigiri. And I can give myself 10 stamina. It's not really the, the best, but it's also an option, right? And here is also where your gear is. You can have three sets of gear. Over time, you're going to have purple and orange gear. Like I said, you got Endless Trial. Complete that every day. Go as far as you can. And then over time, you're going to get orange gear. If you spend money in the game, you already have purple gear. So that is an option. Um, you can level up your gear depending on your level. So I'm level 46 right now, I believe. 47. So I can go to 94 on any item. If your gear is blue or above, you can refine it and get extra stats. But that's individual. If I replace this accessory with a purple item, that will be like 94 too. But it won't have the the extra stats for the Revine Stone. So just do keep that in mind. And you also get this enhanced monster. So the more you level up your stuff, you'll get you know extra stuff, right? So let's move on. I think we covered Lottery. It's already here. Okay. All right. Well, here we go. So we have... Let's just check. Okay. That's this literally just caught me off guard. So I have 488 crystals. Let's go. I think we used 188 and we're going to get some back. This is actually a good way to get up crystals. So boom, 171. We can, we can get up to 488 crystals. This is basically a way of getting free crystals. Boom, we got 341 for that. Really good. Uh, it cost me 299. And I got 690, 619. Okay. And that's it. So to do more, you have to be a VIP. So you have to spend money to do more. But this is actually a good way to get crystals. Because now we just got, what, 300 crystals, I think? We, we were on 700 before. It's a, it's a decent way of getting crystals. And the more you have, the, the more you can get. So that's not bad. This is your friends list. You can uh, see whoever beat your thing. So Dom beat my guy or my whatever enemy i put up you can gift enemies or you can gift your allies stuff like that nice 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 and uh that's about it this again this is my grand fish i can go against him and if i do damage i get all these stuff here okay i think we've covered most of the things so again if you guys have any other questions let me know in the comments below i'll try to help you out join the discord i can also help you there and i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video peace